Hey guys, it's Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to install the Synapse Launcher. Now before I get started, I just want to say that Synapse is mainly targeted at GTK desktops like GNOME and such, but it's not impossible to use it on KDE, and I have been known to use it on my desktop of choice. It works pretty well on KDE. It doesn't look as fancy, but you know, it doesn't really matter to me, so... Anyways, before we get started on how we, how we use it, you gotta go over how to install it, so... We're going to install it on Ubuntu, so I'm going to do sudo apt install synapse tack y, enter my password. And uh, if you check the link in the description, I go over how to install it on all distros, not just Ubuntu, but, you know, most people use Ubuntu, so that's why we're talking about Ubuntu. So to launch synapse, you can just open up your app window, type in uh, synapse, and then open it up, and you can see that I have it right here. Now Synapse starts and it will hide in your application area. Now, it doesn't do that all the time for me because I'm using KDE Plasma, but when you want to search with it, this is what we're talking about here. If you want to search, you can just do, let's see, email, or let's say Thunderbird. So it'll instantly find that I want to use Thunderbird and I can open it up and launch it. Now it's going to launch my email account. There are a lot of different things you can do with Synapse. If you look through here, we have application specific, audio specific, and uh, a lot of different stuff. So it's very intelligent. It can just pretty much find whatever you're looking for. So, you know, if I go to video, it's gonna start searching for video files. But if I go to all and I type in VLC, I know that it's gonna search for the VLC media player. So let's quickly go over the settings. So. And go to preferences and you can see we can enable the start on login and I recommend doing this because this will automatically start it up so you can always have it in the background and then you can press alt shift or sorry alt space and it will come up whenever you want to use it and if you want to change the shortcut you can just double click here and you can change it to whatever you'd like I think I prefer the default but you know you can change it to whatever you want there's also other things you can change in here and you can go over that when you install it it's got a default theme. I think that looks pretty nice, but you can also change it out. You can choose from four other themes and there are a bunch of plugins. So <clears throat> the way Synapse plugins work is you go through, a lot of these are enabled by default. Some of these you need to install. And like this one isn't enabled because I don't have the Chromium browser because I don't use it. But if I were to be using it, I could go over here and click on it and start it up. So. I don't necessarily care about this, so I can quickly disable it. And uh, I can also, maybe if I don't want to use the launchpad thing, I can turn that off, but you know, maybe I want to use pass integration or maybe, you know, paste bin. I want to turn that off. You can go through and you can turn on and off features. So just go through the plugins, find stuff that you like and uh, enable or disable. And that's how you turn on features. So it's pretty useful. Just check the box, the check mark button, sorry, to enable and disable features. And they've got a lot to choose from. A lot of these plugins don't necessarily install unless you specify them, but uh, the defaults are pretty good and uh, I like it. So that's how you launch Synapse, that's how you use it. Just do a quick alt space and you can do whatever you'd like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.